Hey out there, uh, welcome to Tom Tries Bodybuilding. This is a little talk about um, being on a caloric restriction and taking diet breaks or refeeds because I think that's an important thing to cover. Uh, I have been on a calorically restricted diet since the beginning of January. Um, I didn't track calories last year leading up in the bulking phase and I wasn't tracking them in January but I started tracking for the sake of getting my protein up or keeping my protein up in February. If you remember in January or if you saw that video in February over the course of January when I first started dropping food out I lost a bunch of weight and it was a little bit more than half of that weight was lean tissue and I said well I can't have that happening. I want to hold on to as much muscle mass as I can and prioritize fat loss. So I got myself a kitchen scale and started keeping track of my protein content um, to make sure that I'm getting at least one gram per pound of protein per day. And from February to March, that was effective. I maintained lean tissue in February um, and lost only fat. What I found out is that I actually don't mind tracking <laughs> and it's not that difficult for me um, in the way that I eat anyway because I make all my own food and I use my fitness pal. It's very easy if I'm making, for example, I cooked yesterday I did six days worth of meal prep to take me through to Saturday, Sunday. Um, so I put everything in, I made six salads and I made six meals and I just take all the ingredients that I'm going to put. So I made um, for my salad as well, how many red peppers did I use for all these six salads, put it in and it's a recipe and I divide that into six servings and then it does all the math for me. Um, I also made roasted veggies. So I did a broccoli onion roast and I did um, red pepper, mushroom, eggplant red onion roast veggies uh, and said that all those ingredients together we're going to get portioned out into six meals so then it does all the math for me and it's actually really simple uh, for me and actually more enjoyable than I thought it was going to be now that I'm doing this on a regular basis to keep track of protein. I still haven't set like calorie targets or carb targets or fat targets but it's interesting to see how many calories I'm actually getting in a day even if I only have the goal of hitting the protein. Um, but anyway, I've been on this restricted diet um, since the beginning of January, eating less food than what I would prefer to eat um, if I was just being a regular me walking around. But because I'm trying to lose fat and get to what I would have often called stupid skinny um, for the sake of this bodybuilding competition, I have been limiting myself and getting a good sense of what it feels like to restrict calories beyond what is enjoyable. Um, so what I do is every couple weeks, um, normally every two or three weeks, when I'm just feeling super hungry and I start getting cravings for things that I don't normally get cravings for, um, and my energy sort of like, sort of starts going down and down um, so I'm not really up to working out as much or my workouts just aren't effective or I feel super slow or whatever. So then I do a refeed and right now it's been two to three weeks apart. Well, I'll take one day. Normally it's a weekend day where I don't have much planned and I'll just make sure that I eat more food and eat some foods that I haven't been eating like things like peanut butter and Nutella <laughs> and more grains. Um, or starchy carbohydrates that I don't have a lot of space for right now in my calorie restricted way of eating. So I had planned to do this on Sunday and I was going to make like a, uh, <laughs> this is kind of silly, but I was going to make a fava bean hummus and just go to town on hummus and then probably have um, more oats than normal in my breakfast and I would probably have like a smoothie that had peanut butter and Nutella in it and just get sort of like some of the sweet stuff and some of the higher calorie um, fat stuff in as well that I haven't been getting a ton of. 
and just sort of like enjoy my day of eating more than normal and not feeling hungry at all. Um, and that was the plan. <laughs> but Saturday was, um, we had a party with the soccer team and one of the friends was there and it was his birthday. So there was a bunch of people there and already on Saturday I had to go to the Wellness Institute for my CPR recertification and then I came back to St. Boniface and went to curling and then I had to go back out to my mom's place on the west edge of the city to air her dog out because she was out of town. And I was so cravy that I went to A&W because I saw the sign that says, oh, you have these cheddar jalapeno burgers from two ninety nine. dollars I was like, yeah, that's what I need. I just need like a fatty, greasy, cheesy, peppery burger. And that would alleviate my cravings for the day. Uh, and then I'll go home and I'll make this hummus and I'll take the hummus and I'll eat hummus at this party and then I'll be good. So then I got into the A&W and I saw the sign and it's like from two ninety nine. So they have the junior is the one that's three bucks and it's smaller and the bun doesn't look as good, but it's like, whatever, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I'm on a refeed. So I'm just going to eat this burger and they didn't have any more. So I said, screw it. Refeed as scheduled Sunday. So I just went through without getting it and went home. Or so I went to my mom's and had supper and I was like, man, I had supper. I had brought one of my pre-made foods with me. I was like, that was really delicious. I didn't need that burger anyway. <laughs> I came home. Um, by that time it was getting kind of late and I wanted to get to this party. So I went to the party and <laughs> there was a ton of food there. Um, so there were a bunch of homemade wings and there was like a cheesy pulled chicken dip and there was like a taco dip, which is like refried beans and sour cream and shredded cheese and olives and stuff. Uh, and there were Portuguese little cheese buns and there were mini um, tuna tarts, kind of like a quiche, but more tuna than egg. So there was all this food and I went to town on the food and I had quite a lot. Um, I went back for seconds and then there was birthday cake for my friend's birthday. So I had a piece and a half or two pieces of cake and really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, and then I was like, man, this refeed is great. Um, and then I went back for another couple of cheese buns covered in a cheesy chicken sauce dip thing. And I ate way more than I had planned to eat on my Sunday refeed. Almost to the point of uncomfort where I was like, oh, I did not need to eat that much food. But I did. Refeed accomplished. And I definitely was not feeling like I was starving on Sunday. I just ate my regular food on Sunday and was quite happy to eat just my regular amount of food. But I tell the story because I want to make a couple points. The first is, if you're on a restricted diet or eating pattern, and it's too restricted, you're going to feel these very intense cravings and urges to overeat or to binge or to eat things that you wouldn't normally eat. Normally, some of that stuff I wouldn't even eat. But because I've been so restricted, and I would say that I'm more restricted than I would recommend for anybody who's looking to just lose some fat and get into better shape in general. I'm being more restrictive because I have a goal of getting stupid skinny to stand on a bodybuilding stage. So for me, I'm deliberately getting very restrictive and it's more restrictive than I would advocate for any general population, lose some fat, get in better shape, nutritional habit. So if you are on a restricted plan, where you get these intense cravings and for things that you wouldn't normally eat, I think it's time to maybe revisit that plan and recognize that you're being too restrictive in some way, either total calories or macronutrients, if you're looking at your macronutrients or just types of food. Um, if you're cutting certain things out that you enjoy, then it's almost inevitable that you're gonna have some moment of weakness, which is, I would say not weakness, but a natural thing. You're cutting out things you enjoy, of course you're gonna to wanna to eat those. So it might be time to revisit that plan and see what kind of restrictions are 
expectations that you place on yourself, they're probably not realistic if when you see those foods, you go to town and you binge. If we look at having a pattern of good fat loss behavior or eating behavior 80 to 90% of the time for the general population looking to lose body fat, 80 to 90% good eating behavior, that allows you every once in a while to have a bit more or to eat those foods that you think you shouldn't eat a lot of. You probably shouldn't eat a lot of, but you should still eat some of them. It makes you feel good to eat those things. If it's 10 to 20% of the time, you'll be just fine. Leave space for yourself to eat those things, things that you know don't contribute to fat loss, but things that you enjoy so that you don't be too restricted and then have some sort of binging event and then feel bad about it or whatever. For me right now, to try to get stupid skinny for the bodybuilding stage, I'm at probably like 98% (laughs) um, fat loss behavior and 2% non-fat loss behavior, which is why I had this intense bingy refeed instead of my program structured refeed. It happens. The other thing I want to talk about, if you have like a bingy occasion and you're trying to lose fat, um, recognize why you did that. And most of the time it's going to be because the nutritional program you put yourself on is too restrictive. You're cutting out things that you really like to eat and you want to eat those things. So when you get the occasion, at some point, you're going to eat them. And that's okay. You might want to reevaluate your restrictions that you're putting on yourself so that they're less tight. The third thing that I want to talk about is if you get off track, if you have a bingy event, after you have a refeed, it's not the end of the world. You just get right back on your program. You might have altered it slightly to make that binge less severe next time, or maybe not even happen next time. The goal in finding a fat loss or weight management program is something that you can do consistently without a lot of effort indefinitely. Um, But if the wheels come off or whatever, you just get right back on. So Saturday, binge refeed. So Sunday was right back to the program, eating the normal amount of food, that I have planned for myself to eat. Back into my normal protein numbers and just eating regular again, right back on my program. There's no like, oh, I went crazy on Saturday. This plan isn't working. I'm gonna forget the whole thing. No, it's right back to regular eating according to my program that I'm putting myself on. One day, not the end of the world. If we talk about uh, fat loss behavior or even exercise behavior, whatever it is, but here we're talking about fat loss because I'm doing bodybuilding, your next good fat loss choice is the next thing you do. And whether that's getting back into your fitness routine that you've been slacking from, or in this case, getting right back into your nutritional program or nutritional plan right away, next meal. Have a good meal, get right back on your program. Don't throw it all out the window because you had one bingy event. It's not the end of the world. If there was a wagon that you fell off, which I'm not sure that there is actually a wagon, that wagon does loops and you can get right back on as soon as it comes back around. And then the last thing that I want to say is when it happens, we recognize that refeed is a good thing. If it's a big bingy event, we use that as an occasion to revisit our programming and see if there's a way that we can make that less severe in the future. We don't sweat it and get right back on track. And the other thing is we don't punish ourselves for it. So I didn't on Sunday have a killer workout or starve myself or do something to punish myself for eating a lot on Saturday night right back in the program, trust that my body's going to take care of itself because I'm adhering to, in my case, 98% fat loss behavior. I could talk about this stuff for days <laughs> easily, definitely longer than my phone will allow me to talk at a time. Um, but if you want to talk more about it, drop me a line or shoot me an email or buzz or flag me down because I love talking about this stuff, but I won't take up too much video space for it. Until next time, Be well.